time to talk about a project that I have been working on the last couple of years. Uh, and it is called Virtual Sanctuary for Fertilizing Morning. Uh, this uh, first screenshot is from a website called Driving the Human that I recommend you to also look into because it was it is a German initiative that was developed in the last three years. And through this uh, big uh, initiative, I was able to realize uh, this project because I got a long-term funding uh, for doing this project. And so Driving the Human was trying to foster the creation of projects engaged with eco-social renewal. And in this context is that I applied to an open call and I ended up being one of the seven uh, projects selected to be developed. And uh, my project was uh, realized with uh, four communities in Peru, indigenous communities in the Amazonian area, in which in the last years there have been killings of uh, indigenous leaders and environmental defenders. So through this project, I have tried to combine a morning with political struggle and uh, pedagogy, uh, trying to understand morning as a regenerative force and as a possibility to create different processes of uh, subjectivities uh, that uh, aim to transform uh, what uh, the text that uh, was shared at the beginning by Marcela was referring to as these extinction processes that we are facing. Uh, so I worked with these four communities, creating virtual tours uh, into the territories that the leaders that were killed were trying to protect. And uh, these four communities accepted to be part of the project, to share stories, to pass on knowledges and tasks and responsibilities that were uh, also shared by the leaders and environmental defenders. Uh, here you can see me, I was wearing this 360 camera, so this is how the videos have been uh, made. Uh, with a collaborator, we traveled three times to these uh, four communities, and in each community, the people decided what they wanted to share with us, what they wanted to show, what they wanted us to include in the videos uh, regarding stories, uh, interviews, images from the places uh, where they live and where they are trying to uh, protect their territories and uh, defending from extractivist activities like mining or also drug trafficking. Um, so these are also some images from Nuevo Amanecer Hawaii and there is my partner Nuno that he was doing a 3D scanning of this uh, traditional tunic of one of the assassinated leaders, uh, Mauro Pio. And then you will see in the website the way in which we used this 3D object as a portal into these videos that uh, were made uh, with the communities. This is another one called Puerto Nuevo. Uh, and then uh, you can see some images of uh, two moments of the process in which we went back to each community to show what we have made and with the feedback of the people we decided how to continue uh, working so it was a very unique opportunity to have this funding to be able to do this long process of coming back uh, a couple of times to to decide together how to continue uh, working uh, this is the other communities in Chiroca and uh, again the projections of the work over there and some images of work with people in which they proposed what they wanted to show and how they wanted to be depicted in the videos. And finally, the community Unipacuyaku, uh, again, uh, with some projections and some experiences of sharing technological tools with uh, the people and especially the children there that are usually the most excited to uh, share such things. Uh, and so these uh, videos are now hosted on this website, which is uh, called Luto Verde. And I invite you all to visit it because we just launched it in, in Lima in January of uh, this year. And uh, in this website, you can uh, find the information about the project, uh, also the information about uh, the intention of sharing these stories and to 
uh, actively engage with memory and with uh, mourning as an experience of learning about the territories that are threatened and that are disappearing nowadays. So there is some um, information about the communities. Some of the images I just uh, shared with you. Uh, and uh, through this uh, symbol that is like the bottom for play, you can access the main part of uh, the work so that um, going to these uh, 3D objects that we made in each community with objects that are meaningful for them for different reasons is that interacting in this way, uh, these small circles appear and they are different videos uh, so that you can read the descriptions down here and you can choose what you would like to see. Uh, the videos show the experiences we had uh, walking in the territory with people, uh, sharing food, uh, learning about uh, their traditional way of hunting, fishing, creating handcrafts, and all the time the images of the territory are combined with stories about the people that have been killed so that we have the entanglement of territories and humans and the things happening uh, in, in the Amazon nowadays and in general showing this coexistence of humans and more than humans uh, cohabiting and co-creating uh, with each other and also trying to pass on the message that uh, there is no such a thing as an individual loss but that uh, always losses should be understood in a wide sense uh, in connection to the network of relationships uh, that allow uh, all beings to live. So the videos have been done with this, uh, with, with this, uh, so, sorry. Okay, so the videos have been done with these 360 cameras so that you can choose uh, what to see. Of course, this depends on the internet connection. In some slow connections, it's not so easy to do this. Um, but each video allows also the viewer to interact in a different way with what is being shown or explained. And also the website has uh, uh, the possibility to download an app so that uh, you can uh, download this uh, application if somebody has access to this uh, VR headset. It's possible also to download that and to uh, watch uh, the whole thing like a VR experience in, in like if somebody has it as their house or university or institution or something like this. Um, so yeah, basically I wanted to show this uh, project because it was a, a long uh, term engagement of mine and I have been trying to develop uh, or finding concrete ways of working with a uh, morning also as a learning experience and as a possibility of uh, engaging with the questions of uh, what can loss allows us to discuss and to uh, learn. Uh, so I think this is uh, my time somehow. <laughs>